Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and welcome back to this video about your chronic health condition. And in this video, we're going to be talking about stomach acid called hydrochloric acid, or HCL. And I want to help you understand just a few little tips about uh, a bit of information about why having normal levels of stomach acid are so important. And how having acid reflux, or heartburn, or a gastroesophageal reflux disease is not really because you produce too much stomach acid. And why all the commercials that you see on TV for Nexium and Prilosec and Tums and Rolaids and all of those are not the proper method to fix your digestive trouble and heartburn trouble. Now, I'm not telling you, if you're not under my care, to stop following your doctor's rules and your doctor's recommendation because heartburn can turn into cancer of the esophagus, also known as Barrett's esophagus, and we don't want that to happen. But you've got to be able to start somewhere at getting your body fixed instead of just drugging down the acids in the stomach. Because your acids do some things for you. And let's look at this. Your body needs stomach acid to help drain your lymphatic system. Do you know your lymphatic system depends on good, strong stomach acid? Not strong to burn your tissues, but strong enough to break down your food, strong enough to be an antiseptic so that it can actually kill any bacteria that's on the food that's coming in, and so that it can actually help your lymphatic system drain. You know, people come into my practice, if you're ever watching this, and you go to my other website called hopeforyourcancer.com, hopeforyourcancer.com, and for with an F-O-R, hopeforyourcancer.com, and we talk about how the lymph system is so important, and how people even with diseases like lymphoma, part of their problem is they don't have strong enough uh, hydrochloric acid to kill the bacteria before it gets into the body. Your lymph system is a drainage for the body. It's, a, it's part of the, it's, it's its own system, but it's part of our immune function. And we've got to understand what makes this drainage part of our system work properly. And the number one thing we need is strong stomach acid because we don't want any infections to get past the stomach on the foods that we're eating. Because you can't look at a food and know if there's some bacteria on there. All the ground beef that you've eaten has bacteria all over it. Even the ground turkey, even the, even the food that's sitting in the deli bin that you go get sliced that you pick up in a restaurant, you don't know what's going on. I'm not saying that they're dirty restaurants or dirty shopping centers or you know your food store, your, your food mart, but you've got to understand bacteria is everywhere. And we need the proper defenses to be able to, to stop the infections from getting into our body, your body. So we've got to do a proper test. We can do one with a blood test and two with a muscle testing, a kinesiology test. We can tell exactly how much stomach acid help your body needs. Okay? So something to understand is acid reflux is not because you produce too much hydrochloric acid. Commonly what happens in the stomach is when we don't have enough hydrochloric acid or HCL stomach acid and our body's breaking down the food, it actually produces something called lactic acid. Too much lactic acid can lead to the acid reflux problem or the heartburn. And something else can also happen. This heartburn can happen, not again, not because you have too much stomach acid, but because there's pressure in the lower esophagus, uh, sorry, pressure from the belly, from the intestines pushing up. Maybe you have too much gas because you don't have enough stomach acid, because you're eating foods that may be causing your problem. You don't have proper intestinal function. Maybe you're constipated. A lot of people are come into my practice. They used to be constipated when they first started here, not anymore. And then the pressure builds up, up against the stomach, and that can also push acids into the esophagus. So we've got to fix the system from point A to point B to point C and all the way down to the other end. We've got to start with making sure you have enough stomach acid. Break the food down, make it easier in your intestines, help the lymphatic system do its drainage, and help your body kill bacteria or fungus or mold or whatever is attached to that food when it's getting in your system, okay? Thank you for letting me share this tip with you. I look forward to sharing more informative videos with you in the future, and uh, we look forward to helping you as well. Thank you very much.